You got a dead son and you talking about snitching, nigga. Pow! That nigga shot your motherfucker son in the head, boy, on a lot. Pow! God damn it, young Gilly been shot. I remember how you and Wallow would cry. You and Wallow would cry. Oh, my son. Oh, my son. I kill. Oh, you would cry. Now you talking about snitching. You goddamn right I'm a law abiding citizen. That's why your son on a lie. <laughs> Hold on. I'm finna call my son. You got to go to the graveyard to see your son. <laughs> say, say, <laughs> say, look, say, look, say, look, this is what my kids give me for fun today. Uh, Gilly, say, Gilly, <laughs> cash money backup single. <laughs> say, cash money backup single. I'm sorry, backup dancer. Say, listen, I'm for the call my boy, because you can't call yours. You got to do this. Oh, I miss my son. I don't miss my I'm finna call mine right now. Hold on, let me call my son, because I'm finna do this, because Gilly can't call here. He got a on a lie, boy. His son dead with maggots coming out of his ass. Let me call my boy. Call my goddamn son. Hello. What's up, mijo? What's up, Dan? What you? They mad that I'm saying fuck somebody dead. But they wasn't mad when they were saying, fuck your baby. So I'm mad. I know, right? They, when they were saying all this about your baby, what was you doing? You was pleading and crying. Yeah, I'm just getting them to stop. You right, brother. And to this day, ain't nobody apologized to you. At all. Gilly, Jay-Z, nobody from the industry have called and tried to make it right with you. Not at all, bro. So they better not say nothing to me till they make it right with you. Thank you, brother. I love you so much. I love, I love you, too, you so They better much. not say a motherfucking thing to me till they make it right with you, mama. I, I, I understand, brother. That's right. Ain't nobody apologized to me or reached out or nothing. That's all I wanted, mama. I'll call you later. Okay. All right. All right. My nigga, don't y'all say nothing to me. 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 So, so now... Call her. Get in touch with her and talk to her, nigga. They slaughtered her baby and wrapped the body and made millions. They got a mural of King Von and Wally and Gillo laid next to them demons and admired them, homie. Don't say nothing to me. Y'all make it right with that woman. They made millions. Don't say nothing to me. With that fake ass shit. With that fake ass, y'all fake. And I came to show the hypocrisy. I came to show the hypocrisy of you black motherfuckers that call y'all self loving hip hop. I came to shame. And I've been shaming you niggas. I've been shaming the rap game, nigga. I exploited the weakness of this shit, nigga. I'm the new Tupac, nigga. I'm the new motherfucking Pac. And I own this shit. I own this motherfucking internet, nigga. I can't be counseled. I'm the people's champ. If my son get murdered in the streets, wearing Michael Jordan tennis shoes, with, a, with, with, with rap songs and rap videos, and he get, I'm going to feel like I failed as a father. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to turn away from the man I was before my son died. And I'm going to resurrect a new man with a, as, a, as a pain in my heart. But I'm not going to hold on to no snitch. I won't even give a fuck about no snitch. And I need somebody to help solve my son's murder. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. I was married for 16 years in the era of the cell phone. Which means my 16 years is actually longer than my parents' 40. That's right. In 16 years, I had more contact with my ex-wife than my parents did in 40 years. Okay, my father used to leave for work at 6.30 in the morning and come home at 8.30 at night. And during the day, him and my mother had absolutely no contact at all. None. 
Okay? That's what a relationship used to be. The kids could have been dead. And he wouldn't have found that shit out till he got home. He'd be like, hey, the kids are dead. What time they die? About eight hours ago. Damn, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, why do you have the bat in your hand? Why do you have the bat in your hand? Why do you have the No, you're not. What are you talking about? Oh, what are you talking about? Get the bat out of your hand. Listen. What? I'm tired of you cheating on me or whatever you're doing. Who are But I'm not cheating though. I'm not. I'm just sitting right here. There. I'm just trying to watch the game. I'm just trying to watch the game. What are you talking about? Fuck this game. What are, are you serious? God damn. What the hell? Stay off the fucking phone. What the hell did you just say? Apparently, a father that was in the child support rears, the child support agency found out where he gambled at, I think it was a baby mama. She went down there and told the folks, and you know the child support office get paid too. They gotta get their cut too. So when you don't pay them, they bonuses and stuff go down. You know what I'm saying? Child support's a big business, right? He goes to look at his account. They done detected his uh, uh, $1,500 out of his account. They said he was months behind. And I said, now how much is he really paying? $200, you couldn't make that? But you could, you could bet? On, on sports and win so instead of him having a bank account that they can you know garnish they went and found the gambling account i said listen y'all better watch out let me tell you something about this cryptocurrency <laughs> they they trying to regulate it <laughs> for this reason here now this is a part of the regulation and you're trying to figure out it's like how are people making money spending money with you okay making the money and if you not able to take the money you allow other parties to come take the money what type of deal do you have with the government as a gambling site to get in between father baby mother and child disputes i'm not for deadbeat dads and all but this is a bit of a stretch here that mean ain't none of our money safe at all y'all listen when you win you need to pull it out if the laundry mat give you too many quarters, I take it. <laughs> you go to your job. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My boss. A lot of shit pissed me off. Like, we got being a father is a shitty ass deal these days, you know? All you seeing is these dudes get financially raped. Even if you win a goddamn bet, if you win a sports bet, just 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 that's like going and winning twenty one. Ah shit! I hit twenty one. The child support man right there. Hey, yeah, let me get some of that. It, it's it's a whole different ball game these days. If it's not a lawsuit that men are fighting against, with you know. Um, divorce, alimony, and child support, family court, all this shit. Then you got to deal with, you know, sexual assaults like Diddy or <laughs> sexual assaults like, you know, any of these dudes. Soldier Boy got one right now. He just, he, he got to end up paying a whole lot of money for a sexual assault, man. You know, it it, it is what it is. Dudes end up getting caught up just for, you know, trying to talk to women these days, just for Trying to tell them their interests and, you know, maybe tell them they want to get a little kinky or something, you know. It's, maybe it's the kinkiness that's getting the niggas. Niggas like, oh, yeah, I want you to uh, roll on your back and then, uh, you know. Right. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's fucked up. Niggas can't even tell a uh, bro to do certain things without, you know. Might end up going to jail, soldier, soldier boy, or getting sued, or any of these cats that's you know, you know, <laughs> getting caught up just for chopping it up with women these days, you know. So even trying to extend it and actually be a father, it turns out that's even a shitty deal. So then you have a baby with the girl, and then she just try to get you for child support, or she try to take the kid and isolate you from the kid, and you gotta just fight the. It's the, the courts fighting her.
Fight both of them. You gotta fight both of them. You gotta fight the courts and her. The courts are gonna look at you like you're crazy once you go up in there. It's just it's gonna be a shitty deal all the way around, I'm telling you. But it is what it is. This is what uh society's giving us. Um everybody's feeling the the pinch of this financial strain that society's doing to everybody, you know. It's not that, you know, that hard, but they're definitely trying to uh put bigger clamps on us and make sure we definitely feel it, you know, if it's financially, if it's physically working your ass off all the way till you're seventy five with did they didn't they up uh social security or did they up a uh, retirement or anything like that? But, oh yeah. Exactly, man. So they're gonna constantly uh keep knocking at your head until you figure it out. Until you know that uh you better go get it yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that most of this shit is a setup, you know, even to be a fucking father these days, you got to go through the courts and fight for the fight through the courts and shit like that. Just to be a, a decent father for 18 years, you know, uh, probably some classes, parenting class, you're probably going to be doing all that shit. It's fucked up. It's a shitty deal all the way around. And fathers seeing more and more that uh, they don't want to do it. They don't want to take that deal. And next thing you know, um, the birth rate gone down. Population is going down. Um, it's going in reverse right now because motherfuckers don't want to have babies no more. They didn't strangle uh, the father so much. They're seeing these courts uh, mangle these dudes. Nobody wants to do it no more, you know. And uh, dudes are just not even having kids, you know. Is this fucked up? So this is what we're going to have to keep on dealing with, you know, until somebody puts a stop to all the abortions and um, child support raping the, the fathers and stuff. So it's actually uh, showing us that, you know, they're, they're working at this plan of uh, depopulation and it's easy to just manipulate people and have them think that it's okay not to have kids or once you have the kid, then constantly manipulate the father until he doesn't want to be part of your life or the kid's life, you know. But it is what it is, you know. Um, this is what they want from a, from the community, from the society. It's going to just constantly go towards being money hungry. There's no more love. Where's the love at? You know, I understand kids need to be taken care of, but why does the father get cropped out there? If the kid needs to be taken care of, why is the father disposable, you know? And this is the first time ever in society, um, in any community where the father is out and, and is not a, a viable part of the uh, child's life, you know? And we'll see, well, we already have seen, you know, what's the result of the father not being in the child's life. Now, I feel like it's just going to be kids uh, growing up and not even wanting to have kids or not even wanting to do anything um, with another partner. You know, they're not going to see any benefit in it. it or if you are getting into it, it's a, a relationship or having a kid or anything like that. It's going to be so much second nature that you're going to be going to court after, you know, um, you know, people still surprised when they say, oh, yeah, I, I got child support. Oh, damn, damn, man. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, she got you on child support? But um, I say in like 10 to 15 years, it's going to just be, you know, second nature. People going to be, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So what's your alimony? What's your child support? It's going to be like on a pay piece of paper, did you? You know what I'm saying? Um, when you're filling out applications for loans or a job or, you know, housing, that shit's going to be in there. Did you go through any kind of alimony or are you going through any child support? Because now it's going to be second nature because people are using it so often and frequently. So it is what it is, man. Silence is acceptance when we have that. Like, comment, subscribe.